Yahoo Sports, read and react. Trending. Cam Newton's deal with Pats is ridiculously low, but he just doesn't care. Because maybe he just wants to play, because he's actually somebody who loves the game instead of somebody who's going to sit back and be like, oh, I want more money. Way, I'm, f- I'm afraid for my health. I don't want to play. Apparently he's not one of those guys. FedEx calls on Redskins to change nickname. FedEx, what the fuck? Go away, FedEx. (sighs) Nickname? It's not a nickname, it's their name. Texas A&M hit with NCAA violations. Zion spent quarantine getting ripped. And Goat of Goats. That means greatest of all time. I'm getting pretty tired of that term. By Jay Hart. Morning and quick update. We'll be back to our regular daily schedule on Monday when we're rolling out a new series, The Goat of Goats. Oh, it's going to get annoying. What is that? Well, the name pretty much tells the story. Who is the goat, greatest of all time, of all greatest of all times? Because it's impossible to compare athletes across sports and athletes across generations within their respective sports, eh, we're posing the, that's what stats are for. We're posing the question this way. Which athlete separated herself slash himself from their respective competition the most? This makes it easier to compare Michael Jordan's six rings to Michael Phelps' 23 gold medals, Babe Ruth's 714 home runs to Messi's 700 goals, or Tiger's 15 majors to Serena's 23. We're putting it to you, our readers, first to decide who is the greatest of all time of the NFL, NBA, MLB, and so forth, Then we're pitting the respective greatest of all times against one another in a no-holds-barred cage match where 16 athletes go in but only one survives. Or something like that. Anyway, your homework for the weekend. (coughs) Because what else do you have going on during a panic-flattened July 4th holiday? If you think that I'm not celebrating Independence Day, then you are sadly mistaken is to hash this out with your family and friends. No politics, no COVID talk, just good old-fashioned sports debate, sports debate that, in the end, proves absolutely nothing. Don't we all miss that? I'm off to my backyard for the next few days. Enjoy the 4th. Enjoy Independence Day. We'll see you back here Monday. Come prepared. How? I don't understand how you type out an entire thing and you only call it July 4th holiday, and the 4th. And you're just completely fine with that. It doesn't, that doesn't sound stupid to you. Wetzel. Ease up on Tom Brady and others for working out. Okay, good. Yes. Peak. Emony? 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 Bates is a boon for MSU, even if he never plays there. Edom, NFL's best and worst draft classes of last decade. The kicker, ballroom drama. Jim, remember the dental implant conference we had in Orlando? The one where Bill threw up on that nasty ballroom carpet? Yeah, that one. You'll never believe what they're doing there now. Oh, brother. Masks are now required. Oh my gosh. Say X-E-H-A-L-U-S-O de Kubri I don't know why that was necessary, because it was an alert that masks are now required in a nearby city where masks were already required. So stupid. This is so, so, so stupid. Liberty is dead. You can't just, you can't just have the own, you have liability for, you can't assume the liability for your own health. You, it has to be dictated to you. It's so stupid. <sighs> NBA laying down the practice floors. NBA restart begins July 30th with daily and nightly games on ESPN, TNT, ABC, NBA TV, and NBA League Pass. Hashtag whole new game. Okay. So... It's in a ballroom. Thanks for reading today's issue of Read and React.
Blah, 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 blah. That's all for today. Goodbye.